Vitamin D reduces Alzheimer's disease in at least two ways. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, previous studies have shown that low levels of vitamin D are linked to cognitive decline. Uh, you know, we've seen this several times over the years, but there was a breakthrough study in 2012 that was a prospective study. That means it was following people over a period of time. So the researchers followed 498 women, and the average age of these women was 79.8 years old, so they're almost 80 years old, following them for seven years as they get older during that seven-year period. And what the researchers saw was this, that women who were ingesting 285 international units of vitamin D on average per day had a much higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease during the seven years compared to women who were ingesting more than 337 IUs of vitamin D each day on average. Now, animal studies have shown that vitamin D prevents uh, uh, Alzheimer's disease in two specific ways. Number one, it stops the shrinkage or atrophy of a part of the brain called the hippocampus. Now, the hippocampus is often shriveled up in Alzheimer's disease patients. Usually, atrophies and shrivels up, stops functioning the way it did when you were younger. And the second way is that vitamin D triggers the breakdown and clearance of what's called the beta amyloid plaque. Now, it's the beta amyloid plaque in Alzheimer's disease, which is a hallmark feature, it sort of strangles the brain cells from the outside. So if vitamin D is able to preserve the hippocampus and, st and stop the buildup of beta amyloid plaque, that's very, very significant. There are no drugs that can do that yet. Now, the hippocampus, just to understand it, is part of the, the older part of the brain. And it's an important part of the brain for the consolidation of information from short-term memory, transferring it to long-term memory, and also for spatial navigation. So the, in, the human brain has two hippocampi. It means that there's one hippocampus on each side of the brain, just like other mammals have. And in Alzheimer's disease, the hippocampus is one of the first regions of the brain to suffer damage. That's well established. And so you end up with memory problems and disorientation among the first symptoms as the hippocampus starts to run into trouble. So if vitamin D can prevent the atrophy of the hippocampus, believe me, that's big news. So click on the link below to read my short review article on this subject. This is really important because only 2% of Alzheimer's cases are linked to genetic inheritance. The rest of it seems to be diet, lifestyle, the aging process. So if there are things we can do to prevent the disease, we should understand what to do exactly. So click on the link and read the article. Now at machinohealth.com, you'll see my other research review articles, uh, footage from my live professional seminars, other downloads and videos and resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. My research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting evidence-based information from me on any health topic that you're looking for. So be sure to use machinohealth.com as an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family. Thanks so much for watching.